guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a Create This Book toy review. This is the Create This Book. As you can see, it's by Mariah Elizabeth. She is another YouTuber, so you can check out her video. She, that is a very good channel as well. So today I'm going to be doing a toy review of this book, doing a few of the pages inside. And for my viewers who don't know what this is, this is a book and inside are a bunch of pages and you draw and basically do a different things on them and it's basically customizing your own craft book. I do love the craft as I mentioned in my last video, so um or my video for that, so yeah. So first page there I've already started on this book a little but not much guys so the first page is title page. It says by Mariah Elizabeth and I wrote my name here, obviously. Then the copyright page, the tips and tricks. So you can fill this in as you go. It says customize the front cover. I'm not done with that yet. I've done this part right here and the little scribbles. And it says decorate the edges too. I've started with that, but I'm not going to be getting into that in this video. If any of you were to um, get to this book, it is best to start with the edges. I'm just not really getting into that in this video. Today I'm focusing on getting into the book and doing some of the drawing. So I guess we can get started on that. I'll open my book. So, I am going to get into this page, create a fancy name, but we'll get into that after this page. Create a rule. Make a rule for yourself and follow it on every page. Unless it conflicts with the instructions, write your rule in the box provided. Examples. Draw a symbol on every page, date the bottom of each page, add a sticker to each page, etc. So basically, it's something that you need to make it unique, make it like personalized to you to add to every page, just to make it unique, away right from everyone else's create this book. So let's get started on that. Any of you guys have seen my drawing with your feet challenge video, then you probably know that with my feet I wrote an A, the little swirly thing on the side. But I decided to make it look better and do it on both sides to make it look a little bit neater using my hands for this video. So I think that looks pretty good. Yeah. Okay. So, alright, I gotta go back to my other page. This page says create a fancy name. And it also says write your name on this page in a fancy way. Ideas use large text, write with your best pen, include your favorite color, etc. Okay, so. Okay, guys, so in my bag I have some colored pencils. It says include your favorite color. So I'm going to get out my favorite color pencil if I can find it. Let me use the outside of the box as a kind of a guideline. If this is the right color. Yep, yeah, perfect. My favorite color is purple. You can see this. So I'm probably going to be writing my name in bubble letters. I might go through and color it with that. But I'm gonna just go ahead and write it. Mm 
Okay, I'm probably going to write my name in all caps, you guys, because that's the easiest way to do bubble letters. Go. Okay, guys. As you can see, I'm not going to have enough room for my whole name here, so I'm going to continue it down here and make it extra unique, and then I'll do my little symbol somewhere. Because that does not conflict with the instructions. I'm going to try to do an E on this page, on this line. Perfect. Okay, next is I. G. Not weak. So this is my name written in a fancy way. Okay, now I can start coloring with my colored pencil. And I think I'm going to do a pattern here, you guys, like every other letter in this color to make it actually unique. This is a very pretty color. This book is very satisfying, so... If you want something relaxing to do on like a rainy day or something, and you can't really get out and do anything, I would definitely recommend this book. The sound of this is very soothing too. I have a lot of fun with this. And if you're like me and you love doing crafts, then stuff like this just brings you a lot of joy. Like when I first got this book, I had to start. I knew I wanted to do a video about it, but I just kind of had to start, you guys, because I was too excited. I'm just going to make sure it's not bleeding. It's not. So, now I'm going to do my L, so I'm skipping the D. And you guys, if any of you guys get this book, you can use, of course, any color you'd like on this page or draw anything you like. This is just what I'm using. This is my favorite color in my name. Okay, skip B and do the I. If you heard that, guys, my cat is snoring in the background. This page is unique, and so is he. I will probably show him at the end of this video, because he decided that he wanted to be here on camera today. Sorry for laughing in the middle of my video. I'm still laughing about the fact that my cat just snored on screen. Sorry, that's my house popping. I have a creepy house. If you've seen Mariah Elizabeth's channel, guys, she says she's haunted by the squishy ghost. I think I'm haunted by the craft ghost. He flies around my house, watches me do crafts. He's jealous of all my good work.
G and do the H. This is a lot of fun, guys. So, if any of you found time to get this book, I would definitely recommend it because it is so much fun. It's just very relaxing and fun, and it's really nice to see your work when you're finished. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm finished with this page. So here you guys go. This is my name written in a fancy way. Comment down below if you like it or not. I don't know. Now it's time to add my little symbol. Oh. Sure, that looks good enough. So, there's my final page, it has my little symbol, my name, and yeah. It's already done that page, my little symbol. And this is the last page of this video. Choose one color. I'll like use only that color to decorate this page. And it says create a monochrome. I don't know if I want to do this page. Mm. Okay guys, we're going to skip to this page. Create a music inspired page. Turn on some music and let the music inspire your decorations. I'm not going to be, <coughs> sorry, doing that. I think I'm just going to draw something with some music. Mm, maybe not. Okay guys, I decided that that was enough for today's video. I'm going to spend the rest of the time talking about materials and stuff for the book. So, for the book, I would recommend doing the edges first, because as the book gets fatter and fatter, as you're adding stuff to the inside, that'll be harder to do. I didn't get into that today in this video, but <coughs> it's best if you were ever going to do this book. And coloring the front page, it has a weird texture to it. So, markers, primary markers, anything like that is best for the color. Acrylic paints, stuff like that is best for that. And on the inside, pages are kind of thin, you know? So, it's best to use colored pencils, crayons, watercolors, and if you want to use markers or acrylic paint on the inside, you can like glue another piece of paper in there and draw on that. That makes it a lot easier to use things like that in this book. And if there's instructions on the page, you can just kind of cut around them on that page to work with it. So, yeah. And if you have any more questions about it, you can just read the tips and tricks section of the book. Here, it has a lot of extra information on this page. Also, I didn't show you this, guys, but you can also decorate the back cover. The back is just as important as the front, guys, but you don't have to. It's completely optional. You can leave the front blank if you wanted to. Okay, guys, so this is it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you haven't subscribed already, you can subscribe down below, turn on the notifications, and don't forget to like this video. And now, time for shoutouts. I know I said the video was over, but it's time for shoutouts. Shoutouts to my friend, Tony. Thank you, Tony, for subscribing to my channel. Last week, you guys, I know we didn't have any shoutouts, but today we do. So, once again, thank you, Tony, for subscribing to my channel. And that's it for today's video, guys. I will see you guys on Saturday. Goodbye.